Well, today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we're talking all about conventions, and it just happens to be that a convention is coming up. So, if you are in the service industry at all, pressure washing or window cleaning, make sure to stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? Everyone, if you are here for the first time, have a look around. We have hundreds of episodes. It's been going on for seven years, every single week. Have not missed a week, knock on wood. So go back, listen to anything. It's anywhere podcasts are. Play it. If you're binging, what's up? So many of you binge out on the job, and it's fantastic. So thank you. uh, Thank you. Uh, Some of these shows aren't even awful. So (laughs) go back, listen to everything. Um, If you are uh, not new and you are here again, uh, just thanks. Thanks for being freaking amazing. So today we are talking all about conventions. And I have to premise this by saying uh, conventions, they used to be called round tables, which are like smaller events, shows, trade shows, uh, any of this stuff. Any of these kind of shows, I, do they cost money to go to? Yes. Okay. Let's be honest. Going to a show uh, for me is actually <laughs> a lot more expensive because we have to bring you know pallets and crates full of stuff. But for you, it's a trip. So yes, you got to pay for a hotel. Yes, you have to you know, uh, buy the flights or bring stuff or get food or whatever. But guess what? You deserve it. (laughs) You deserve the break. And I'll be honest, there is a vacation where you turn everything off. And then there's a vacation you kind of get as a write-off. Because it's like an educational event. By the way, I'm a nobody, so don't listen to me or take tax advice from some dummy on a podcast at all. But... Uh, there's a lot of tax benefits. Talk to your accountant about it. It's like pretty much a right offable trip, which is fantastic. So going to a convention is kind of a bit expensive, uh, but it's absolutely worth it. Like how many other things do you do? Like you go and buy a you know six dollar coffee, you know all year. This kind of stuff is amazing. And I'll tell you, I started going to conventions like way back when. I mean, way back when. This is probably 20, no, maybe not 20 years. 18 years ago, maybe. Maybe a little longer. I've been going to shows for a very, very long time. And, fun fact, the first show I ever went to like 20 years ago, I was messy. There wasn't even forums. Like, that stuff wasn't even out. And there was a thing called an email group. And it was literally like you hit forward all and you send it to everybody that's in this group. And I said, hey, I'm new. I'm going to, I think it was in Atlanta. If anybody's there and wants to meet up or hang, like, that'd be awesome. And uh, lo and behold, Alex from WCR was the guy uh, who was like, yeah, dude, let's hang out, man. We'll be at the bar. We'll meet. Like, Sweet. It was fantastic. That's where I met Chris and Alex. Um, That is, I mean, I met so many people that year. But those two guys I knew because I knew nobody. I showed up, I didn't even have a hotel room. Because at the time, I'm like, man, I don't, I don't even got cheddar. Like, I'll get down there and try to figure it out. My wife's like, what are you doing? You flying there and just like figuring it out? I'm like, yeah, it's a big hotel. Like, I'll find something, you know? I ended up crashing on somebody's floor, which I'll get into. But, the whole time they were like, "Yeah, dude, hang out. Yeah, we're going to dinner. We're gonna to go to the bar. Like, let's let's hang out, man. Yeah, tell me your story. Like, we talked window cleaning, but we talked about other stuff. And man, those dudes are so absolutely uh, radical. Uh, it was really fantastic to me, and uh, still genuine friends with them all the time. I mean, I still sleep on Alex's floor every time I go to New York to the office. So, but there's little things like that when you go to shows, you go to conventions." that are literally life-changing for you, your business. And there's something that people don't talk about in business that's the mental side. Like the mental state, the mental 
effort that it takes to be in business. I mean, we all go, yeah, you got to sell, you got to do this, got to be tough. You got, but think about the mental side of creating a thing by yourself. You are literally standing in the middle of a desert, nothing around. You got no water, you got no people, you got no nothing, and you're trying to build a building out of sand in the middle of this. Like this is when we talk like, you know, coaching or uh, mentorships or this podcast or America Window Cleaner Magazine, shameless plug. Like all of these things help you be surrounded by the industry so that you're not out in the middle of the desert. And conventions absolutely are one of those. Now, I'm saying this all, the huge conventions, what's coming up, by the way, I'll tell you all about that. And I got a code um, for a discount for tickets, actually, I think. That'll be in the comments on the YouTube video or just text me and I'll shoot it to you. But I'm bringing it up for you. This is the big one, right? This is 1,500, 2,000 pressure washers and window cleaners go. The pieces to the puzzle of a, of a convention that people think about are classes. And I don't know how many times I've heard people be like, yeah, I don't, classes aren't for me. Cool. You want to know how many classes I've been to? Probably two in 20 years, maybe. And that was because I just kind of like accidentally got in. People started giving me like free tickets to go and I was like, oh, cool. My wife, which um, I almost did a Borat voice there. But my wife would joke, because I would call it networking. I'd say, hey, she would go down, we'd go to Florida, whatever, they would come, you know, and then the kids would eventually come. And uh, the big thing in a convention now that I work them, um, I'm pretty much busy the entire time, which uh, is its own thing. But I always joke and say, hey, I'm networking, which means like, hey, I'll see you later. I'm going to go be gone until like 2 a.m. And that's exactly what I did. I would have no voice. We've had conventions in New Orleans, which by the way, phenomenal uh, program that's put on called NOLA. That went on for a very long time with a buddy of mine named Thad. Um, we've done the huge convention. We've done um, IWCA, which uh, goes on every single year. That was like the OG show before everything else. And when people ask you, well, I don't really wanna to go to class. Like the classes don't look that good. I don't even ever remember looking at classes ever, ever. Now, not to say that they're not valuable because I love education. I love learning, especially in our industry, right? I love the fact that you could be a nerd and soak up everything. But the fact when you go to a convention and just talk to other people that are window cleaners that aren't on Facebook, that aren't, you know, keyboard cowboys, that aren't, you know, if you're like, hey, what about this? And somebody goes, you're so stupid. I can't believe how stupid you are. Hey, guys, we should all stop helping newbies and see what happens. Cool, bro. You were a newbie last year. Like, get off your high horse. Right? That's Facebook. That's social media. Go meet people in real life. Every person who's ever talked crap to me meets me in real life. I'm like 6'2". I'm like a bigger guy. And they're like, oh, hey, uh, you're, you're bigger than I thought. Everybody thinks I'm little. I don't know if it's a camera thing. By the way, if you're at the convention, uh, make sure to say hi. Like, make it known. Be like, yo, Jersey, what's up? Because so many times there's like thousands of people and uh, people are like, oh, I saw you, but you were too busy. I didn't say hi. Just say hello. It was so awesome just to like hear from everybody when they say hi or even if they just say my name, be like, Jersey, what's up? It's phenomenal. Uh, and uh, by the way, if you're watching or listening to this right now uh, and you are going to a convention, you ever see me in public and I'm with Steve or Steve-O, the window cleaner, make sure, <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever, make sure you say hello to me. And then I will always introduce you to Steve if we're standing there because it's a little thing we do. And be like, oh, what's your name? <laughs> so, so great. If you ever see anything posted about Steve, I always post who? Um, because that's the thing, right? Steve's like this huge name and uh, has got a, the biggest window cleaning channel, I think, of uh, anybody in their dedicated kind of window cleaning side. And it's exactly that. People will come to him and say, what's up, man, dude? Oh, it's all great. And then they don't know who I am or don't watch my content. We kind of try to push back and forth and there's so much out there. So, but by the way, make sure to say hi. And if you want to make my day, uh, pretend to not know Steve. Um, but anyway, when you go to these shows, 
yes, the classes kind of are what they are, but it's this networking thing of being able to be around these people. Like, there's never else a time where you can be in a room of a thousand people who understand exactly what you feel, understand exactly what you know. Like, I do, I kind of mention it sometimes in the private coaching, I don't always really want to talk about it, but those people that I talk to, some of the best benefits, I've had such awesome relationships with some of these people for years and years and years. And it's, yes, every week we work on something, but every week we talk for 30 minutes about the industry. And everything that's said, we both know what's going on. Like there's something to be said where in your desert, where you're an entrepreneur, you are a window cleaner or a pressure washer. To be able to talk real, legitimately and wholesomely, that's a word, to another window cleaner or pressure washer is absolutely the most freeing, amazing thing that you can do. And the reason is because if I say, oh man, it's like I got to this job, like it's 95 degrees and this lady is just like talking to me the whole time. She follows me to every room. If I say that to anybody else, they're like, oh, well, nice. She was a nice lady. You know, listening to this, what I mean. You know that like, oh my gosh, this is going to take so long. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to be really nice. Oh, okay. You know those things. All those little itty bitty things. Where you're like, oh man, dude, I can't find good people right now. You say that to somebody else who doesn't know business. They're like, oh, have you tried to uh, put, you tried to uh, put out an ad? Yes, I have. What are you talking about? Of course. Like, but if I talk to another window cleaner or I talk to you and I'm like, man, dude, it is so hard hiring somebody right now. It's good. You instantly get it and you feel that unlike anybody else in your life. And having that connection is why some of my absolute best friends in my life, real life, are window cleaning people. Genuine, real friends come from window cleaning. And it's because the bond is there. And even if we're sitting there eating barbecue, which, by the way, uh, in Nashville, um, one of my favorite things that I do is Mike Nichols, the best smelling man in uh, window cleaning. The uh, uh, Him and Zane are always together, by the way, if you know who Zane is. Mike Nichols is absolutely amazing. One of the best things that we ever do is we will sneak away just like a little small group of us and go get barbecue at this like, you know, hole in the wall parking lot restaurant in the middle of the night. And it's great. We don't even talk window cleaning. But every little piece, they're on the same page as I am. And there's something to be said with this like connection to backside. Yeah, classes are good. Classes are fine. All that's great. But man, the, 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 the camaraderie that you get is bar none. And I'll tell you, this again, is not going to make sense until you jump on. Go on Facebook. Go to Pro Window Cleaning if you uh, want to deal with uh, the, the trolls. But put it out there. Have you ever made a friend at a convention? Like, I know people. Absolutely. I mean, tons of people who they're like best friend and I'm like, oh, they're always together. They only know each other from the industry. They only meet at these shows. I don't see these people the rest of the year. But as soon as the show's coming out, I'm like, yes, let's do it. And we could hang out. We could go to the bar. It's like hugs. It's like a real, legit, amazing relationship. And you're like, well, cool. I don't need friends. Oh, fine. Cool. You're popular. You have probably tons of friends like steve -O. And uh, that's fine with you, but... I'm not in it to make or find friends, but what I am is that it happens. And the reality of that is, is that if I have a real person who on a level that cares about me and what I do, and we both kind of feel that same thing, before I did anything with WCR, I've worked here now like nine years, something like that. I've did content for them, but I've just been friends with these guys for 20 years. Before that, I can literally send them something and be, dude, this popped up, man. Have you ever dealt with that? And I will absolutely get the most genuine, real answer on anything. 
it's a bond, right? If I jump on Facebook, uh, I'm on there a ton, you know, and everything else that's going on, it's it, it's great to have. But there's something for that that the answers you get are sometimes blocked, right? If I go to a window cleaner that's in my town, I'm like, hey, I'm also a window cleaner here in this town. He's like hiding his windows. He's like, oh, hey, uh, nice to see you. You know, you might be cordial and then you go off and you're like, I hope you didn't steal my customers. But when you go to a convention, it's a dog park, right? If you have a dog and another dog comes into your yard, they fight. He's like, it's in my yard. But you bring both those dogs to a dog park and they're like, hey, let's play. We should run around, right? Have you ever thought that when you go to a dog park, why does every dog, for the most part, get along? They're so happy to see other dogs. It's because nobody cares. It's not their yard. Lots of smells. That is a convention. The best things I've picked up in my entire life have been sitting at a bar or a restaurant and just listening or talking. Somebody's like, blah, blah, blah. Plastic gift cards was, I first heard that 18 years ago from some dude at a bar. I can't even remember who it was. And he's like, yeah, I modified it a little bit, but I was like, oh man, this dude this is genius. The little things that you find out are absolutely game changing. And you're finding this stuff out because people are willing to just talk, right? Cool, what's your prices? Like people ask me that all the time and I'm absolutely okay answering that. But if you ask somebody in your area, they're not gonna really answer it very well because they're like, I might sugarcoat it, I might inflate my things, I might make you seem I'm bigger and better than I am, I might fake it till I make it. When you go to a convention, it's a dog park. You can go up to anybody, and I'm telling you, the biggest thing you can do to ruin a convention or just ruin your experience is not talk to anybody. There's so many people that go to classes and they're like, oh, hey, and then they go back to the room. They're like, yeah, it was all right. You did the wrong thing. You know, it's like you went to the Super Bowl so that you could go to a parking lot party and then didn't watch the game or whatever, right? It's like you missed the, the idea of it. And that's what conventions are, for me at least. And I got to stop and do a quick uh, shameless plug because it's what I do. By the way, not a shameless plug, but I'm going to mention it again. Uh, the huge convention is coming up in uh, August and it is in Nashville and it's not too late. Uh, the hotel is amazing, by the way. Say hi if you're going. If you are and you need a ticket, uh, I'm going to put a link in the comments, I think. I'm pretty sure I have a link. I'll find it, put it in there. But anyway, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. That is what I do and that's what booth I will be at is a WCR's booth or Zero Products booth. Uh, but I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com and the way that I make money is by putting orders in. I get credit for every order I put in and it costs you nothing extra to let me be a rep. And it's as simple as literally if you put everything in your cart, just click save this cart and be like, yo, Jersey, my cart is ready. I just verify an address and once I have your card saved, it's so simple. I would love to put your orders in. Like I said, it costs you nothing extra. Hopefully I can help you pick stuff out, get fitment issues, just questions in general, and I will earn my keep as your rep. So please let me do that. My number, uh, get a piece of paper ready, get your phone out. I'm gonna give you my number. You're gonna save it and save it under Jersey because I'm the only Jersey you know. But it's 862-312-2026. That is my cell phone. Call me, text me, please. Uh, shameless plug, yes I know. Shameless plugs work. Eventually I'll get you and I will be able to put your orders in. Uh, also, uh, you're a nerd like me and you're listening to a podcast right now. Go check out the American Window Cleaner magazine. I purchased this uh, magazine uh, two years ago. We've gone through revamps and revisions and um, it's just absolutely a, a, an amazing magazine. It's, it's put together phenomenally we redid it the new layout guy by the way his name is justin is amazing the magazine is exciting you also get a sticker sheet um yeah every single month so please go do that it's awcmag.com get a subscription okay back to it I love conventions just for that reason um now i mentioned that i'm a rep for windowcleaner.com and i mentioned that i'll be in the booth that's another piece of it. If you didn't know, a lot of shows do a trade show. And if you're going for just a trade show, you've missed it because our industry is not big enough to have a trade show that is, you know, two days and giant. People going, this is it? You know, a smaller show like IWCA, yes, that is it. There's that's it. But 
it's nice to see the stuff that's there. Now, we bring $20,000 worth of stuff to the show uh, coming up here in Nashville. We got a lot of stuff. A lot of gear to look at, get your hands on that type of thing. A lot of people have discounts and things. We show off what's great, what's new. One great thing is if you are into water fed, you can see different poles, systems, everything, a lot of times in person. And a lot of times you also can get a deal if you're buying from shows. So something there. But I love the trade show. I love to go because you get to meet like Dieter with um, Mormon. You get to meet Sorbo himself goes to show sometimes. He goes to IWCA. Um, you get to meet these people that are in the industry that I almost feel like are legends. You know, you you see people that you know have a imprint in the industry on top of the products that they have and just get to talk to them because you get to see it, right? <clears throat> if you have a rep with windowcleaner.com, hopefully it's me. But you talk to um, Austin, Zane, you know, uh, Steve, John Lee, any of these people, a lot of times you see them at the shows. This year we're rolling, um, you'll see John Lee, you'll see Steve-O, uh, the window cleaner, you'll see uh, me, you'll see Zane, um, those for that. Alex is going to be there. Uh, Chris is going to be there from WCR. You're going to see Frank Rave. He's going to be there. We're flying him in to hang out. Um, it's just, there's a lot of people that you kind of see, you know, or talk to that you kind of get to see. And I don't know, you know, you kind of build like relationships with people. If you've listened to this podcast, we kind of have a thing, right? We're like you're connected subliminally. Uh, and that's the most amazing thing. I love putting orders in, obviously that's how I, you know, um, make my money, how I live to do, but I talk to so many people and I cannot know their face or what they look like until I meet them because you guys see me or hear me but I don't get to see you or know what you look like so meeting people in 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 person is phenomenal and a lot of times especially in this stuff it's just really nice to say uh somebody says hey man dude I got a lot from your podcast man I really it's awesome right like it's the same thing if you help somebody on Facebook <clears throat> they meet you in person like hey man I just want to say like that thing you put out there really helped me like those little things you get to see in person absolutely is amazing. It, it's better than anything else that we do is kind of going to these conventions, going to shows and talking to people, just building the relationships with people who are like-minded is uh, pretty, pretty amazing. It really, really is. Um, the other piece to that is that you're surrounding yourself with other business owners. So you get guys that are new in business but you're also hanging out with guys that are huge, huge companies. I'll tell you, I met uh, Wesley Bloom in New Orleans one year. And uh, he was this younger guy, super young guy, you know, super cool, just chill, you know, he's hanging out. He kind of didn't know anybody and we were talking a little and I was like, hey, dude, hang out with us, man. We're just going down to Fremont or whatever. He hung out on our group the whole time. And I was like, oh man, this guy's new. I talked to him the next year and we were talking and he was talking about how uh, his business had hit a million and his goal was to hit a million dollars, his business, have a million dollar a year before he was 21. Let me let that sink in. Now, not everybody, I know it's not all about numbers, but his business did a million dollar a year before he was 21. I talk about his company all the time because his company is branded amazingly. What he's done is phenomenal. And this is a guy that I just assumed when we talked. It was just like a little, you know, ah, ah, we're just going to hang out. You get to hang out with people whose companies are exactly what you want it to be. There's guys that are here, you find out, running 30 guys. Maybe you want it to be big. Maybe you talk to a guy who goes, hey, I'm a soul. I just do my own thing. You know, I work 20 hours a week and I make 200000 a year. Maybe that's your thing. Maybe you want to do roof cleaning or Christmas lights. And there's guys who be like, yeah, I do like 800000 in uh, Christmas lights. Like you are hanging out with these people. And not just like hanging out, oh, I get to be, but you get to ask them questions. You get to talk to them. 
You get to absorb from them. If you're the most successful person in the room, you're in the wrong room. That's been said by a lot of people. But that's not the goal. The goal is to always be in a room with people that you can learn from or just absorb or get their vibe or their energy or just pick something up. There's a lot of those people there because they've built relationships and they want to go. It's absolutely amazing the, 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 the connection you get for that kind of thing. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big um, fan of sales and human psychology, like not just the sales side of it, but like in, you know, the idea of the brain and stuff. And I'll say, what would you do if you had the opportunity to like go get a drink or a coffee with like one of your biggest heroes, Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Jordan Belfort. Maybe it's Bill Smith, the window cleaner up the street, whose company is huge. He's in the town over from yours. Maybe it's any of these people who you get to just be around and talk. You could be friends with them. Not that you put people on pedestals, but if I could hang out with like a Tony Robbins and just like absorb his vibe, just like, you know, hang out with him, that is absolutely valuable. It's the reason that people do these charity benefits or whatever. And it's $10,000, you can go hang out with, you know, Grant Cardone for two hours. And people are paying that all the time. They're just locked. If you know um, uh, Apex, uh, it's another one, and his name is Ryan. Oh, my gosh. Stuman. Ryan Stuman. Ryan does this thing where they do a, like, mastermind. Um, but they'll go. They rent a private jet, and they go from Texas, where he is, to the event, wherever the event is. And there's 10 people on this jet, and they all split it. And it's like 10 grand. Or whatever it ends up being. It's a lot of money. It's way more than getting a plane ticket. And you have to get to Dallas. So if I'm in North Carolina, I got to fly to Texas. Then I fly to the event. But it fills up every time. And you're going, why would somebody do that? Just to be with the... You're stuck on a plane. With people who you could just surround yourself with. That are in a space or have the knowledge that you need, want, or just crave. And that's what conventions do. It allows you to be with these people. It allows you to, you know, hang out. The best thing you could possibly do, and I always tell this to new people, the the connections happen in the bars at the night. I don't drink. You guys know you've never probably ever seen me drink. I don't I don't really drink. I mean, it's been I mean, there's no reason I don't drink. It's not that's a bad thing. I just personally don't. I get motion six. I don't drink. So but I'm still in the bars and I'm still there and I'm still doing my thing with people because that surround with them is on a whole other level. Just to stand there and there's a group of people that make little pods, right? Everybody's talking you know, and just to stand there and kind of get into the conversation eventually, just to listen, no one is embarrassed that you're standing there. No one is mad that you're in their conversation. It is absolutely open to everybody. That's the phenomenal part. Be there and spend every waking minute around other people. And when you're at a convention, people wear their name tags or they wear their shirts and you can tell they're from a company. Hundreds of conversations. I've been sitting there doing something and somebody's got a shirt on and it says like, you know, XYZ window cleaner. I'm like, oh, you're a window cleaner? Cool, what, what uh, state are you from? Start opening up a conversation, just talk, just get to like meet them and understand them and know them. And maybe that's not gonna be your best friend for life, but you get to talk to another window cleaner. Just talk. It's absolutely phenomenal. If you haven't been to show, I'm telling you, you gotta go. If you are going this year, tell me if you're going. But more importantly, when you're there, say hi. Be like, yo, even if I'm talking to somebody else, make it a big deal. Just say hello. I hate when people are like, oh, I saw you, but you were too busy. I'm like, oh my gosh. You should just been like, yo, Jersey, and wave. Just to like... The connection to see people in, in real life is phenomenal. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm lucky enough to be able to do it. Hopefully you're going. Uh, hopefully I do actually have the code <laughs> that I was telling you about. Pretty sure I do. Um, but it'll be like a link, I think, for a discount. Anyway, whatever. Hopefully you're there. Hopefully you say hi. 
And uh, hopefully you listen to my shameless plug and order your supplies for me. Because you know what? Uh, winter's always coming and I would like to have money to go through winter. Uh, and uh, I'm building a place in the mountains, as you, a lot of you have seen. So, you know, help a brother out. Why? Let me uh, Tell me what name brand thing I can buy. Even if it happens to be just a box of drywall screws. Uh, I really appreciate that. So let me put your orders in again. My number, direct, cell phone, 862-312-2026. If there's a sale, by the way, and you send me a message or you text me or you message me on the weekends and I don't get back to you right away, I promise you it's cool. Uh, if there's a sale or in anything, uh, don't worry. I will get that in. You'll always be locked in. As soon as you text me, locks you into any sales or deals that are going on too. Um, and uh, costs you nothing extra. And then I am a fanboy of you, and uh, I am extremely excited. So please let me do that. Uh, if you haven't already, also do me a great favor. And the whole team of everybody who is on this magazine, go to awcmag.com. Get the subscription. It's a real paper magazine. Yes, something you can read on the toilet is real. It comes to your door every single month, and the subscription is like 69 bucks. That's less than an hour of your work. So for me uh go to awcmag.com go to the show hopefully we see each other hopefully you know we just um we can vibe and hopefully until next week you go out there and be happy